Hi boys and girls. This week we're doing lots of beautiful flower projects and lots of Mother's Day projects because Sunday is Mother's Day. So don't forget to say Happy Mother's Day to your moms. I'm going to read you a book that's all about moms. It's called Llama Llama Red Pajama. The author is Anna Dudney. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Let me just... There we go. Now we will be able to see this better. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. Llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his Mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. Llama Llama Red Pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Oh, he's sad. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. <laughs> Oh, he wants his mommy. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stumps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Llama, llama, red pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama, llama, run, run, run. Oh, look, his mommy's coming. See? She came back. Mommy's always come back. Baby, llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient for your mama. Little Llama, don't you know? Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. The end. We're going to hear one more book that's about Mommies, this one is called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Does anyone know what kind of animals those are? They're called raccoons. All right, here we go. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she said, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? 
Oh, a very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother, and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, said Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his hand. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush, rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little, little love from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you, Mommy loves you, and that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. Oh, that's sweet. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in the front of his school and looked very thoughtfully. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Oh, that's sweet. Now you have a kissing hand, too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. He's going to go play with all his friends. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. Wow, look at all the animals. They're all having so much fun. I see an owl. I see a bird, a mouse. Over here I see a fox. I see rabbits. I see a deer. I see a raccoon. Oh, and the last page says, I love you. There's the kissing hand. Wow, that's so nice. So we're all so lucky we have such nice mommies. And guess what? Sometimes mommies bring us to school or maybe they bring us to a play date and they always come back, right? Yeah. Okay, so I hope everybody has a happy Mother's Day, okay? Make sure to give your mommies lots of hugs and kisses and be extra special good for them this weekend. Bye!